I'm, I'm just curious, like, how different this week was for you? You'd been doing a lot of special teams uh, coming into this week. Like, how different was, like, practice for you in terms of how much you were working with the offense and how many reps you were getting at running back, stuff like that? Yeah, it was a little different. I, I was kind of doing a little bit of everything, as you might say, um, going from giving some scout team looks and special teams to special teams accompanied by, uh, you know, first team reps with the offense. So definitely different, but um, just being part of the game plan felt good and, and going throughout the, the week as it progressed, just uh, getting the flow of things. How do you balance that? Like when you know you're going to have some work in the offense, but you're also trying to give the defense some good looks in practice on the scout team? Um, just staying in the playbook. I mean, at the end of the day, just knowing your assignment. So it's up to you, you know, post-practice or whenever you you have find the time to make sure you're going over the things. So when you implement it, that you're just on, on top of things and, you know, the offense doesn't miss a beat. You had a couple of like the first couple runs you were able to break off, like some nice yardage. Like what – how important was that for you just in terms of like getting into the flow of it and getting some confidence going throughout the rest of the game? Uh, it, was, it was great. I mean, it felt really good to get back out there and to actually, you know, put some yardage um, for the offense and move the change on a couple of instances. And that's a tribute to the offensive line and what they were doing. And um, definitely a good uh, boost of morale, especially first time in a, regular season game that I touched the ball um, in a good minute, but to go out there and, and do that and be able to help the team, like I said, move the chains uh, definitely felt good. Thank you. Here. Boys, you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, great. Um, you know, what was that like? Uh, what, what was when Daryl Henderson, you know, they signed Daryl and brought him in a guy, a familiar, you know, with the system, but what was his kind of onboarding like, uh, and how did you kind of help with that? Uh, I mean, he's a guy that's obviously familiar with the organization and how things work and and how we work. So, uh, I mean, implementing him was was pretty seamless. And he has a strong work ethic. And, I mean, he's just a, a real knowledgeable football player. So, at the end of the day, he was implemented, um, like I said, seamlessly and, and obviously bouncing ideas off each other and um, what he seen, saw, and, like, me being here from, from the start. Um, seeing how uh, some of the runs would play out or some of the plays. So uh, it was great to be able to pick his brain and um, likewise for him. And it, it strikes me, you know, uh, even with Daryl's experience in the organization and Miles in, in the NFL, you're, you're the most, you're still the most experienced guy in that room. Um, and it just seems like your demeanor is very calm, very, you know, um, you just seem like a nice presence in that room. I'm wondering, do you take that on? I mean, do you feel that's a responsibility as the guy with the most experience to offer, uh, you know, advice when needed? And I guess I'm just asking if you embrace that role. Yeah, I mean, I, I can embrace it in, in a sense. I mean, we have some guys now also like with more experience, like you said, Miles, Daryl, um, for myself playing um, as many years in the league as I, I had been in many different offenses um just like you said keeping that that calm uh collective you know feel in the room but also the positivity you know football is an emotional game and I think we all have talent in that room so making sure everybody you know pushes each other and you know wants to see everybody do the best and and excel on the field and I think like in tandem our running back room we're able to go out there on a weekly basis and and go out there and compete and put a good product out there so I mean um I think collectively in the, in the room, uh, just being the older, um, the player uh, definitely definitely helps out in that regard. Thanks very much, Jordan. Hey, Royce. Thanks for doing this. Yeah, how you doing? Um, I'm well, thank you. Um, so how how are you holding up physically after the workload? Um, and and obviously there was some some there was some tough sled and some hard running from from you. And I just wondering how you're feeling physically after Sunday. I feel good. I feel good. I mean, to be expected um, as far as, you know, getting more carries and running the ball. Um, but our offensive line did a great job. They provided a lot of space uh, for us to to run. And um, I mean, body wise, I, I feel good. I mean, um, just first time, like I said, uh, running the ball in the regular season in, in a little while, but but um, feeling good. 
And then I wanted to ask you your perspective. You have such, I think, a, a unique perspective because we know the Rams run a competitive scout team and the defense likes to be challenged. Um, have you either in practice in practice in that setting or back at training camp, you know, several, <laughs> several weeks ago, months ago, um, have you ever been a part of uh, a play where you can see that Aaron Donald knows the call? Oh, yeah. A lot of the times. I mean, he's a very cerebral player. And I mean, he's he's been a dominant force in this league for a reason um, and see it up close and personal. And it's like, you know, it's not all the time you get to one play against a player of his caliber, but also um, play like good on good, you know, and being uh, on the scout team, getting to go against him. He's also making our, our scout team better, but also making us better, um, you know, running the ball. So um, being able to compete against that is is definitely something that uh, I don't take too lightly. And I think it's uh, a competitive advantage. Yeah. And uh, linemen have described, they can tell when he knows it, like he's sort of got that. Yeah. yeah. He has just the look and the demeanor where, you know, he is probably going to be one of those plays, but um, I, I, you know, you just got to take it for what it is and compete. And I mean, they're getting better every day going against him and we're trying to make it uh, hell for them, you know, going against them and when we give them looks. Thank you. And then one more question about a defensive player, if you don't mind. Um, you've also seen a lot of Byron Young from when he first got yeah. in and then his growth. How has he grown to you? Um, personally, I think that he's um, he's been taking a lot of good coaching. And I think that he's taking steps and elevating um, on the day to day, week by week and honing into his own talents and, you know, um, you know, excelling at that. He's He's just he's just going out there and stacking, stacking days and stacking games. I'm mean, just glad to see him out there, you know, competing and and putting a great product out there on the field and and helping us uh, win win some ball games. Thank you very much. Thank you. What about to you, Adam? Yeah, just to kind of follow up, like when you know you said it's been a while since you know. It's been, it was how exciting it was to be part of the game plan, how it's been a while to be featured part of the offense. Like, is there any part of you that missed the way your body feels the day after a game where you're running like that? Uh, I mean, yeah, uh, it's, you know, give or take, because sometimes your body feels better than what you thought it would be, or sometimes it feels worse than probably what you thought it would be. For, yeah. for the most part, I think that it's it's um, it feels probably as I expected, though. I think we do a good job of taking care of ourselves collectively as a, as a team and collectively as a as a running back room, you know, post game. So, I mean, uh, being elevated a couple of times, being mostly on special teams, it definitely is a different feeling, uh, more physicality. Uh, I, was, I was still part of, you know, special teams a little bit this this past weekend, but uh, uh, for the most part, it's just what to be expected body-wise.